Welcome to Sai Master Academy. Continuation of trigonometry. Already we done three four videos in trigonometry. So second exercise finished. This is related to third exercise. Here one more problem we have. If A B C are the angles of a triangle. A B C angles means then we can say sum of angles is 180. A plus B plus C is equal to 180 given directly. And then prove that this one in terms of tan, this one in terms of cot. So by using that property, sum of angles is equal to 180. So given A plus B plus C is equal to 180. For first one, tan. So apply tan. Second one, cot. So apply cot. Or from first one, we can prove second one also easy. See, A plus B is equal to. Can we write pi minus C? 180 minus C. Now apply tan on both sides. Tan of A plus B is equal to tan of pi minus C. Tan of pi minus C. See tan of A plus B formula. Tan A. Tan of A plus B formula. Tan A plus tan B by 1 minus tan A tan B. Tan of 180 minus theta. Minus tan theta. Now cross multiplication. Tan A plus tan B is equal to minus tan C. One job. Minus tan C. Minus into minus plus tan A tan B tan C. Tan A tan B tan C. Now take this side. Tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into Tan C is the first proof. Now simply we need in terms of what? Cot. Just write in place of tan one by cot. Or for this apply both side cot. Whatever it is same. What is cot of A plus B formula? Oh. Oh right. Cot B. Tell me. Cot B cot A minus one by cot B plus cot A. Simple man. If plus here minus here. If minus here plus here. For tan cot all. Okay. Tan A plus tan B by one minus tan A tan B. Tan of A plus B. If minus plus interchange A minus B. Cot for cot this will be numerator. This will be denominator. Okay. Now substitute tan A equal to one by cot A. Tan B equal to one by cot B. Tan C equal to one by cot C. Now it will become. Show them. One by Tan A, sorry, one by cot A. Next, one by cot B. Next, one by cot C is equal to one by cot A, cot B, cot C. Now LCM, what is LCM here? Cot A into cot B into cot C. Numerator cot A. So you will get what? Cot B, cot C. Cot B, you will get what? Cot A, cot C. Cot C, you will get what? Cot A, cot B is equal to one by cot A, cot B, cot C. These two will get. So what is left part? Cot A, cot B. This one I am writing. Then cot B, cot C plus cot C. Cot A is equal to. We can write this like this also. Summation of cot A cot B is equal to always what? One. This is a formula. Okay. Summation of cot A cot B is equal to one. Next. See. Find the maximum minimum values or range or. Kraja. What is this? Extreme. Anna end se. Maximum, minimum, ends, and also range ends functions. We learn in function. Okay, so how we can find the maximum or minimum extreme or uh, range of a trigonometric function a sine x plus b cos x plus c or c plus or minus actually plus or minus means you will get minimum and maximum. C plus root over a square plus b square is maximum. C minus root over a square minus 
sorry, a square plus b square is minimum. I wrote here respectively. So for maximum, this one, for minimum, this one. So to find the maximum or minimum value of a trigonometric function, first we need a function in this form, sin x and cos x form. So see, 3 sin x minus 4 cos x, cos of something plus 2 root 2 sin of something minus c, 13 cos x plus 3 root 2 sin x minus 4 and this also. If you observe here, angle what? Here, so angle should be same. And that is irrespective, whatever it is, 0 to infinity. Now, here if you observe this question, what is angle? Here also, same. Now, compare this with that a sin x plus b cos x. What is a? 3. What is b? Minus 4. What is maximum value? Formula c plus root over a square plus b square. What is minimum value? c minus root over. So, minimum value c minus root over a square plus b square. What is c? 0 plus root over a square b square. So, what is the maximum value? 5. Root 25 will be 5. So, which is equal to again 0 minus root over 9 plus 16 which is equal to minus 5. So, this is minimum and maximum. Okay. Right. See, here also same. What is a? 7, no, minus 2, a sin x, sorry, minus 24, a sin x. What is b? What is c? 5. What is maximum value? Formula, c plus root over a square plus b square, which is equal to root over c. 5 plus root over a square, 24 square, 576, b square, 49. So, which is equal to 5 plus root over 576 plus 49, how much? 70, 30, uh, 19 plus 6, 25. So, 625, root 625, which is equal to 5 plus 25, which is equal to 30. Now, minimum value, C minus root over A square plus B square, which is equal to 5 minus 25, which is equal to minus 20. Since this is the same part, no? that's why. Right. Now, come to this one. What about this C? Here angle what? X plus pi by 3 here also? So, no problem. We need the coefficient of sin and cos, right? So, A is equal to 2 root 2, B is equal to 1, C is equal to minus 3. Quotient what? 1. Now, maximum value C plus root over A square plus B square which is equal to minus 3 plus root over 2 root 2 whole square 8 plus b square 1 which is equal to minus 3 plus 3 which is equal to 0. Minimum value c minus root over a square plus b square which is equal to minus 3 minus 3 which is minus 6. Next year, what is a? 3 root 3. What is b? 13. What is c? Minus 4. So, you can solve, right? Now, see, if 0 less than A less than B less than pi by 4, then sign of this and cos of this given, find tan 2A. See, condition given what? 0 less than A less than B, right? From this condition, 0 less than A less than B less than 45, then a minus B is and A B minus A is positive or negative. A minus B is positive or negative? Negative. Why? Small minus big. B minus A? Positive. This is very useful here. Okay, now come to the question. What is given? Sin of A plus B. How much given? 24 by 25 by triangle. Right angle, triangle. This is 24, this is 25. Then it will become what? 5 R. How much? 25, 25, 25. 625 minus 576. 24, 24, 24, 576. So, if you subtract uh, 576 and uh, 24, 14 into 7. 
so this will be seven. Okay now. Now what about cos of a plus b? Plus b. This is sin theta. This is cos theta. Okay. What is cos of a plus b? Seven by twenty-five or twenty-four by twenty-five? Seven by twenty-five. What is tan of a plus b? So twenty seven by twenty-four. Twenty-four by seven. Twenty-four by seven. So which one we can use? That we can use. I am writing all. Now what is given? One more. Yeah. A mi chado. Okay. I will write here. Cos of how much given? Four by five. Then four by five means by right angle triangle. This is four. This is five. This will be three. Right. Now what about sine of a minus b? Which is equal to three by five. But is this negative or positive? A minus b. A minus b. Negative. What about next? Tan of a minus b. How much tan of a minus b? Three by four. Again, what negative? Three by four. Okay. Now come to the question. What is asking? Tan two a is asking tan two a. So we we don't know tan two theta formula till now. Next exercise that only. So tan two a we can write tan of a plus a, na? Can we write a plus a? Then we can write tan of a plus b minus sorry plus a minus b. Can we write? B B will get cancel again. Tan two, adding and subtracting B. Now consider this is A. This is B. What is tan of A plus B formula? Tan A plus tan B by one minus tan A tan B. Substitute here tan A A plus B plus tan B A minus B by one minus tan A. A plus B tan B A minus B. Okay na? Now substitute here tan of A plus B. What is the value tan of A plus B? Twenty four by seven plus tan of A minus B minus three by four by one minus twenty four by seven into minus three by four. It will be positive. That is three by four. Just if you solve, what you will get? That is answer seven four ja. Twenty eight seven four ja. Twenty-four four ja. Ninety-six minus three seven ja. Twenty-one four divided by again seven four ja. Twenty-eight twenty-eight one ja. Twenty-eight plus twenty-four three ja. Seventy-two twenty-four hours per day gada. Twenty-four two ja. Forty-eight three ja. Seventy-two hours four ja. Ninety-six hours. Twenty-eight twenty-eight. Ninety-six minus twenty-one. So seventy-five. Seventy, seventy, eighty, ninety-six by twenty-eight, seventy-two, seventy, eighty, ninety, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. Ah, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. So here twenty-five, three ja, twenty-five, four ja. What is answer? Next, you given if sine of alpha plus beta by sine of alpha minus beta is equal to something, then prove that a tan beta equal to b tan alpha. This by using componendo and dividendo rule. Componendo dividendo rule. That is what I will explain you. If you have a by b is equal to c by d, then by using this rule we can write a plus b. Numerator plus denominator by a minus b is equal to c plus d by c minus d. Easy form. So here also we have a by b equal to c by d form. Solution by component and dividend rule. This is a. This is b. A plus b means what you will get? Sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta by Sine of alpha plus beta minus sine of alpha minus beta is equal to a plus b. A plus b plus a minus b by a plus b minus a plus b. Understand? Now here minus a plus a cancel, minus b plus b cancel. Remaining here sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. You know sine of a plus b formula. What is sine of a plus b? 
sin a cos b plus cos a sin b but if you know transformation formulas sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b what sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b 2 2 sin a cos b sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b 2 cos a sin b kada ha uh, but here we are in second exercise by using what compounds compounds compound angle only what is sin of a plus b sin a cos b plus cos a sin b plus sin of a minus b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b by here also same sin a cos b plus cos a sin b minus sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is equal to a plus a 2a by 2b 2 2 cancel this negative uh, this positive cancel this negative sin alpha cos beta sin alpha cos beta cancel remaining sin alpha cos beta sin alpha cos beta two times are uh? 2 sin alpha cos beta by 2 cos alpha sin beta inda cheptunna adega that is by equal to a by b 2 2 cancel now sin alpha by cos alpha what and this is what cot beta so tan alpha into cot beta is equal to a by b proof a tan beta right so a tan beta means write this as tan beta denominator tan alpha by tan beta is equal to a by b now cross multiplication if you apply that b tan alpha is equal to a tan beta understand next finish huh? so rob yeah see these questions i am giving for practice and more questions you have in your textbook page number 2 59 second roman 1 2 3 4 5 1 bit lo 5 question second bit lo uh, third and uh, i gave already fourth in third row in third row man uh, first bit and second first bit first one second one okay these questions you have to practice and this is about exercise exercise what c now we have one more very important and after the transformations we have that uh, d exercise is very very important lengthy exercise that is related to multiple and sub multiple angles we will discuss in next video thank you share, share to maximum